The second debate stage will look mostly like the first, as seven of the eight candidates who took part in the initial August debate qualified for tonight's event. And just like the first debate, frontrunner Trump has decided to skip the event, despite having the polls and donors to make it. To qualify, the RNC mandated that candidates have at least 3% support in two national polls, or at least 3% in one nationwide survey and two polls from separate early states, based on polls conducted since August 1 that met the RNC's criteria for inclusion. Candidates also had to attract at least 50,000 unique contributors, with at least 200 from 20 different states or territories. Time equals 400 ms. greater than the RNC raised the polling and donor standards for the second debate, which slightly winnowed the list of participants. The new rules raised the level of support candidates needed in qualifying polls from 1% to 3%, and the number of unique donors from 40,000 to 50,000. Six of the seven qualifying candidates had little trouble meeting these polling and donor thresholds. However, although Burgum had enough donors, he struggled to poll well enough nationally to qualify. It took until the Saturday before the debate for him to get the national poll at 3% he needed. Meanwhile, former Texas Representative Will Hurd and former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson came up short of qualification, as Hurd lacked sufficient polls and only got to 50,000 donors on Monday. While Hutchinson didn't have enough qualifying polls or donors.